Hello, Mr. Ape. Someone's told me that you have a new money vault. <laughs> okay. Maybe you can at least show me how it works. Hello and welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today we're back on Year in Finance, taking a look at the new Curve Finance Compound LP Vault. Okay, so you know, before we get into this, let's take a look at what State of the Vaults has to say about it. Now, this is a weekly newsletter by Dude Sons that I read quite thoroughly. Now it says deposits Curve Three Pool. Oops, sorry, wrong one deposits Curve L Compound LP token into the liquidity gauge at Curve Finance and Farms Curve 10% blah 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 blah. This is a little bit hard to understand for someone who's brand new, but uh, if you already know quite well how the year in finance vaults work, this might be enough for you. So I'll put the link to this in the description below. So let's head over to my flow chart and I can explain to you how you get into this vault and then what it is doing with your money. As you can see here, it requires you to have a C die plus C USDC. So this is a, a pretty strange looking token and it's gonna give you this vault token back to help you know that you you are owed some of this holdings. So um, let's take a look at my image flow chart over here. So first we have a user, a yearn user. This person wants to enter the vault. He has some DAI and USD, or maybe he just has DAI, or maybe he just has USDC. All of it is okay. So what does he have to do? So first thing he will have to do is swing over to Curve Finance and deposit those tokens in there and get back a C Curve, C DAI, C USD, this token here this thing here okay oh sorry yeah that's the same thing but yeah this token here so let's go over to curve finance and see what that entails so we're here at curve finance here and we go up to the top and we see there's a new one here called compound click there now this is the buy and sell you can trade between DAI and USDC here so deposit go to deposit and now it's asking you how much do you want to put so here you would put in the amount that you would like to put whatever that amount is now here you say um, add all coins in a balanced proportion if you click this then you need to put the same amount in both of these but let's not do that and uh, so you just put in the amount so let's say maybe 2000 or whatever I don't have 2000 in my wallet and I don't have my wallet actually connected so you want to deposit you don't want to deposit and stake engage you want your to deposit so that you can get the token and not stake it okay so you deposit it and you come back here and you should have in your wallet a number here that's close to the number that you put here so like let's go back to the flowchart and see what happens next so when you put your USDC or your DAI or whatever proportions of tokens in here and you get your token back what does curve do with it Let's check. So Curve's gonna take those tokens and stick them in Compound and get back some APYs from Compound Finance. Now, whenever you lend to Compound and borrow from Compound, they're not borrowing from Compound, they're just lending to Compound and getting back Compound tokens because you put DAI in and then they send the DAI to Compound and Compound gives back C DAI. So they've They've split these up to 50-50 for you whenever you put them in and they sent 50-50 over here and got C dive back or C, C dice plus C USD, a token back, okay? Now there's one thing, there's one little problem with Curve Finance is that they're not harvesting the rewards for using Compound Finance currently, but they're working on it. So I assume that uh, year in finance vault that I'm talking about today will update when this updates because all the users who are in this in this pool will have to migrate. So anybody who deposits in this curve 
compound pool right now, this one is going to need to migrate. So I'm pretty sure urine will migrate as well and your vault token should be okay. I'm not sure if you're gonna have to migrate in urine as well. We'll see what happens. So back over here, what happens next? So now you have your C token, right? Your C plus die C plus, you know, thingy token, this one, and you're going to deposit it into, by pressing this, deposit or deposit all or whatever, however many you want to deposit, deposit them into the vault. So that's what we see here. So they're gonna deposit in here and it's gonna give you back this vault key, right? Which is this token here, which is this big long stringy token. I'm just gonna call it the compound vault key, okay? So you got your vault key back and now the curve vault knows that it owes you a proportion of its holdings. So now what is the curve vault gonna actually do? Now, before I mention what the curve vault's gonna do, I will re remember, remind you that Zapper Finance doesn't actually have a way to get in here straight without doing all this top stuff, but I'm almost 100% sure they're going to have it soon because they do for all the earned finance vaults. So how to do that? Let's go to Zapper. Come over here and you go to invest up here. Those are, you'll have to connect your wallet and so forth. Invest, you come down here and you type earn in here. So let's do that now. And you can see there's all these other vault keys, vault, 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 three pool, die, all these vaults. Eventually it will have the compound vault here and it should have this logo right here when they're ready. Something that looks like this, I assume they will use this logo as well. So check Zapper first if you're deciding to do it. And if Zapper's not currently working, you have to go the manual way and go to curve first, get your C, C token thingy, either C token, and stick that in the vault and they will give you back your vault key token okay so now what is the vault going to do to the money or these c tokens that you've put in here the first thing they're going to do this is a pretty standard curve vault they're going to stick those c tokens into the curve governance gauge so that's basically what this was deposit and stake and gauge so they're going to stake this in the gauge for you now why wouldn't you don't just do it yourself look look i can do it right here why would i do deposit carried over there and pay more gas there's a reason for it. Let's take a look. So they're gonna stake it in here, and by staking it in here, they're going to get rewards. So you would get rewards if you did it manually, but you would need to harvest these rewards. You need to claim them from the gauge every once in a while. I'm not gonna get into how to do that because I'm gonna, I'm talking about the vault, I'm not talking about curve finance. So they're going to gain rewards from this curve gauge, and they're going to, once in a while, when it's optimal, they're going to harvest these rewards, okay? Now what will they do with the rewards? They're gonna take 10% of them, 10%, and they're gonna stick them in this VECRV, four year lock thing. It's like a governance thing, right? So it, what does this do? Is by locking up some of these curve tokens in here for four years, one year, I think it's one, two, three, or four, but I believe the vault is only gonna be using four year blocks, I'm not sure. So it's gonna boost this reward. So it's gonna make these rewards larger and bigger. So that's why they put 10% over here because you know they kind of losing it, right? It's kind of locked away, but it gives this, makes this more powerful and gives more rewards on the next time. Now, what's this little monkey on the wheel here? This is another vault that's out right now. It's kind of like an experimental vault. I made a video in it. You can see the video up in the top right hand corner. Now, if you want to check out what it is, it's called the back scratcher. And this back scratcher is going to also boost these rewards for this vault as it boosts the rewards with all the curve vaults because it kind of does something like this as well. Watch the video if you want to know what is this vault doing. So onwards. So the rest, remember 10% goes here. The other 90% will go to Uniswap. Now this might change in the future, but currently they're just using Uniswap. That goes to Uniswap. Uniswap swaps them for DAI. And then what happens to the DAI? Now they have a bunch of DAI, right? So then the DAI will go into Curve Finance and they will get back more of these C tokens. So again, they will use as if it's this DAI. Going in, split 50-50, do all this again, get the tokens and then back into the vault and compound and over and over and over. So that's pretty much all that's happening in the vault and how to get into it. I uh, hope it was helpful and thank you for watching.
If you made it this far through the video, you're awesome. Thanks for watching. Now, if you want, you'll notice that you could always subscribe to my channel. If you, you may have noticed that uh, my um, thumbnails have changed. Now, this is because I got a new microphone and it's improved my audio quite a bit. I hope. I hope you guys have noticed um, all of these old videos if you see the brownish grayish here those are my old videos the sound quality is quite it's it's bad so if you want to watch them go ahead but you know I'm going to try to remake some of them maybe maybe not um, but sometimes I'll link to these and if you go to the links then I, I apologize for the sound quality now if you would like to support the channel you can you know, subscribe, you can like, you can comment below. You can come and check out my Twitter. I only ever tweet about cryptocurrency related topics. So you feel free to join me there. Link in the description. The final way you can help me is you can head over to Rarible and pick up a um, NTF if you like. You know, I try to make them cheap. I'm going to try to make some new ones as well. These don't seem to be too popular. But if you feel like throwing me a few bucks, you know, grab an NTF, get an NTF out of the deal. So these are all of the li links are in the description for these places. So feel free to check them out. And thank you again. Goodbye.